Hey everybody, this is Josh and Ben, and we are here in Bangkok. This is the gay area in Siloam, known as Soy 4, and in this area, there's a bunch of bars, restaurants. Some of them serve food, some of them do not serve food, and essentially you get a table and you sit down and you order drinks. That's what this area is like, and everybody faces each other. It's usually really packed, as you can see. We went inside the balcony bar, and uh, they had live music, which is uh, when I had been here many times before, I don't ever remember there being live music in Selim. And in fact, there was a few girls and straight people, which in years, you know, over the last 20 years I've been coming to Thailand, you didn't see straight people in the gay area. So it's kind of a nice change, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, and before you watch the rest of this video, do me a big favor, do us a big favor, and could you hit that like button, make a comment for us, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do us a big, big, big favor, and subscribe to the channel, we'd really appreciate it, help us out, and thanks so much for watching our video, and all our videos if you've been watching, we always appreciate it. This lady was up here doing karaoke, and uh, they was karaoke always in the series in the past, but it was kind of nice to see that that's still been around. And that bar across the street that looks like a TGI Fridays in the United States is actually the old um, telephone bar, which the owner passed away from when I was told and was sold. And now it's a place called Circus. And uh, maybe that's, it actually was themed like a circus inside. We didn't go in there. Uh, didn't really, uh, it wasn't really uh, what it used to be. Actually, the bar, they used to have a wraparound bar in the front and that looks like they moved that out. But I'm sure it's a great place. Uh, I just, we ended up at Balcony and enjoyed that. Our time there and the drinks were really stiff, if you know what I mean. They poured pretty heavy at Balcony. And so, uh, but yeah, you can see that name up there. It is called Circus. And so if you come to this area, what you can expect is you're going to basically be doing karaoke or you're going to be sitting at a table. We didn't order food at Balc. I don't know which bars really do or do not serve food in the years past. All the bars serve food. I don't know if all of them are serving food or not serving food because obviously, you know, as generations change, so do the bars. So this is called Circus. It does have an upstairs. There used to be a karaoke room upstairs. I don't know. I didn't go upstairs to check it out, but you can see it literally looks like a circus. And the funny part is in LA, there used to be a gay bar that was called Circus and uh, that's no longer there. But it wasn't themed like a circus like this place. That's uh, very unusual for gay people to... Oh, yeah, Yas Queen. There's actually a bar called Yas Queen. Ben said he would love to make a bar in L.A. called Yas Queen. <laughs> so I think we are heading out now. We are going to go head over to this other area. It's a short walk from here, and it is called the DJ Station, and that's the well-known nightclub. It is actually a little complex, and uh, we're going to head over there and show you that. So this is a DJ station. They charge us 400 baht to come inside the DJ station, but included two drink tickets that you can use at all the bars in the DJ station. And in the past, I now believe, I think this whole area is 100% DJ station, but, but in the old days, this had separate owners and separate bars in here. I'm assuming during COVID, I don't know the facts behind this, why this whole place now is just the DJ station, but it's definitely a lot of fun and uh the vibe's really good people are really nice i didn't see signs if like in the past watch for pickpockets but this particular part of um, the club scene this area is this little complex has been known heavily for being pickpocketed so this is inside the dj station the main part that was always here that was always considered a dj station and uh, it really hasn't changed it literally this part of the the nightclub literally looks the same um, sometimes on the stage here they would have drag shows uh, which they did have that night. They had a drag show, which I, I will film at the end. That's how we end this video. But yeah, at this place is a lot of open spaces, lots of nooks and crannies, uh, multiple restroom places. So there's, it feels like you're in a big maze at the DJ station. You're not gonna get bored coming here. And one of the surprising things is that they in the old days, they ice, when they poured you a drink, they would measure it with a shot glass and that would be your drink. Um, I didn't see that. I haven't seen that actually at the Soy 4 or here where they actually are measuring the shots or the alcohol or doing what everybody else does in America where they just kind of free pour it. I'm assuming they're doing counting. That's how normally bars work. But you have a variety of people here, tourists, internationals, and locals all come here to mix. I don't believe a lot of the local gay community comes here. I do think some of them come here, but 
it seems that this is the main spot in Bangkok. If you're going to come visit, they check out if you want to go up party at night. So the drink prices here are very affordable, reasonable place to come get drinks. It's not going to break the bank. And they seem to pour a stiff drink, so you're not going to be disappointed with whatever you order. I will say that the owner or whoever owns this place now definitely spent, like as you can see here, on the staircase, that LCD displays on them. And I think that they really invested into this night spot. And it definitely looks way better, way better than it ever did in the past. Really happy with how it looked. This whole area you see here in the top part all wraps around. That whole alleyway, that used to be, each one of these used to be separate clubs and you had to go through a separate door. Now it's just one big open space. It kind of reminds me of the Abbey West Hollywood in the fact that there's so many rooms, there's so many different dance areas to go dance in, and there's so many places to mingle and meet people. Definitely a very cool place to come. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you come make at least one evening stop to the DJ station. It, it is a tight space. It's totally packed and cramped, and that's just what you have to accept if you come here. And you can see the dance floor here. People are dancing and having a great time. I will say that if you are a real big dancing person who likes to do really big dance movements, um, you're definitely not going to really be able to do that here at the Jesus Station. The dance floors are really small and it is tightly packed, but you can dance. You're going to have a good time. You're definitely going to get sweat because it is warm in there. It's not I mean you have this many people inside a small space. No air conditioner is going to make it look or feel is cool but it wasn't uncomfortable it's just that it's gonna be warm expect that because you have so many people and so definitely um come here with the expectation that you're it's gonna be uh be patient uh, people move out of your way nobody's gonna push you over nobody shoves this is you know every time i've ever come here i've always had a great experience and, and now that this is there's so many rooms like this room wasn't here in the past this it's space we're looking at this was a, a new space it, it, I mean, it was a bar before, I guess, but now it's so open and so wide. There's so much to do that um, I don't think you'll get bored here. And then, of course, here is the typical, uh, always a drag show, always somebody performing and doing a good job. So if you come to the DJ station, enjoy yourself, have a great time, uh, relax, and uh, thanks for watching this video. And don't to forget to subscribe, like, comment to my channel. And we always appreciate everybody who watches us. Thanks, and we'll see you on our next adventure.